EQ or emotional quotient is about how you go about doing it. It means sensing and communicating, conducting ourselves in different forums, willing to go out of our comfort zone in order to meet people very different from us and circumstances very different from what we are used to. And that is certainly a challenge I have for young people. Never miss the opportunity to meet people and visit circumstances very different from you, not only culturally, but socioeconomically. You learn a lot from the vertical and the diagonal compared to the horizontal. This whole idea of EQ and this bottom-up approach also means you combine a tough mind or a business mind with a soft heart or a social heart, as some people have called it. One question to ask yourself is, are you being bottom-up enough? I tend to ask this of myself. That doesn't mean bottom-up is better than top-down. We never say that. It just means that bottom-up is more difficult to do, it is often neglected, and it is particularly neglected when it comes to global challenges. It is always better, or it seems better, for me to go back to what I already know. I also want to point out that being bottom-up has a lot of pitfalls, and we have talked about this as well. You can get caught in the weeds and just remain there. So for us, it's really the dance between the bottom up and the top down. When I'm showing you our slides and talking about it, I'm being top down. But when I met an elderly woman in a marketplace in Tanzania who was selling firewood, I was being bottom up as I learned from her. She was apologetic as she explained that she did not cut any green branches, but only picked up branches that had already fallen on the ground. That's what I mean by bottom up and everything is about the dance between the bottom up and the top down. People make impossible trade-offs in their environment. For example, people living in poverty know that cutting those green trees and getting firewood means that there won't be trees a few months down the road. So these are the types of trade-offs that people make. Similarly, people find ingenious ways to reuse. So a grocery bag could be a raincoat for somebody.